and this video is going to be my October 3 one. So you guys, the three one topic is created in a booktube group called Booktubes from Around the World, which was created by Sherry Walker, and I will link her YouTube channel down below, as well as the Goodreads group down below, so you guys can join and start doing some of this stuff. But the topic this month for the October 3 one is Haunted Houses, which would be your favorite paranormal horror or scary books. Now how the three one topic works is you get one topic and you have to pick three books that go into that topic. So you get it three and one, you know. Um, yeah, this is going to be my last video on Feminine Day because it looks like it's going to rain. It's early and it just got cloudy all of a sudden. So it's probably going to pour down and tear down down here in a little while. So it's going to be my last video. So my video is going to look ugly. But um, anyway, I did post my 3 one on my vlog and I wasn't sure if I was going to do a video or not because I wasn't in the video making mood, you know, these last couple weeks. So, here I am. But my first book that I have is Witches by Scott Snyder and it is a graphic novel. I do have it physically with me, but I'm too lazy to go in the bedroom and get it because Khalid is sleeping and I don't want to wake her up because then she's going to buy my video. So. But anyway, um, Witches was my very first graphic novel that I read, and I think I read it two years ago. I'm going to say two years ago, because I think that's when I read it. But it was my very first graphic novel. It was absolutely amazing. The graphics were so good. The storyline with the plot twist at the end was amazing. <laughs> that book is so amazing. If you ever ask me to recommend a graphic novel that is most likely going to be one of the ones that I recommend especially if you're into horror and it is very creepy okay it's very good like nothing you think is going on is going on and I've heard people say that oh it's called witches so it's about witches okay <laughs> okay <laughs> you gotta read it and it's gonna shock you <laughs> but it is so good and I just I loved it it's just it's perfect for Halloween it's very perfect especially if you're not into like big novels you have to go the graphic novel route that's how you get your reading in and this one is so good and the second book that I'm going to talk about that is one of my favorites around Halloween time is Edgar Allan Poe and I have the whole collection of his poems and stories and it's, it's all of them in just one big bind up and I think I got this off of Amazon for like eight dollars at some point and it's dusty because I, I, I didn't Usually for Halloween season, I read a story or one of his poems every day in October to get myself in the spooky mood, but I haven't been in a Halloween mood. So I've been neglecting my poem and my story a day, but I kind of picked up for it because I was reading Nevermore, which is also about Edgar Allan Poe, which ties into his, his poems and stuff, so I guess it's a good way to cheat. But anyway, um, I usually read a poem or a story a day. And you can't go wrong with Edgar Allan Poe doing the Halloween season because all of his poems and stories are, are either weird, like a creepy weird, or a gross weird. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with those, okay? And the last book that I have is Tales from the Graveyard by Suzanne Schultz, and it is a complete collection with all four stories. Because you can't get the individual short stories by itself, but this was all together, and I got this from Net Galley a couple years ago. and. I did the review for it, but I don't want to look the review for that one because I was looking horrific in her review. <laughs> I looked so bad at review, so I don't know if I'm going to link the review, but I think I am because I want you guys to read it, and that's the only way you're going to really hear me talk about it in depth. But, um, yeah. Tales from the Graveyard is just really, like, gross, gruesome, just, I don't know how to say it. It's like, it's, it's creepy. But it's really like a grossly gruesome creepy kind of going on. And all four stories connect. They all tie into each other, okay? So it's a really amazing wrap up of stories when you get to the last story. But it's like it's freaking weird, y'all. Like it's so weird to read it. But it's really good for Halloween if you like this like bloody kind of kind of stuff kind of stories for Halloween this is really good it, it's just really creepy and weird and you're gonna be reading and you're gonna be making faces like and you're gonna be asking yourself what the fuck am I reading while you're reading it but I enjoyed it I loved it it was amazing okay and if I still had it I would read it again this year but I don't have it anymore because it was a book I have from that valley unless I go and buy it but I kind of liked what I had it free and I'm not usually the one to go buy a book to reread it. So, 
will see. So you guys, that is my three-in-one topic for October. And I want all of you guys to do it. So you guys should definitely do it. And then link me into your reviews. Whether you do video or put it on your blog. Just link it down below and I'll check it out. And you guys should definitely go and join the Booktubes from Around the World group. Because it's fun doing the three-in-one topics every month. Which I don't do them every month. Um, I used to put them on my blog. Because I never really... They're either on my blog or I'm doing a video, okay? Sometimes I do both, but sometimes I don't because I'm lazy. It's either going to be one or the other. So, yeah, they are fun to do, though, and you do get a chance to vote on the topics. It's not just here's the topic. You actually get a chance to vote and get your voice heard for what you want to. And you can also give recommendations for future topics that you want to have done. So you guys, yes, thank you guys for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.